My name is Akansha Rajan. I am studying in class 7B. Today, July 31, is a very special day. I am here to review a masterpiece book written by a magical person. Yes, this person does not need any introduction. Joan Rowling. No better known by her pen name, J.K. Rowling. Today is her birthday. Rowling is a British author, philanthropist, film producer, and screenwriter. She is best known for her Harry Potter series, which won multiple awards and sold more than 500 million copies. So this Harry Potter series consists of seven books. The first book is The Philosopher's Stone, written in 1997. The second book is The Chamber of Secrets, written in 1998. The third book is The Prisoner of Azkaban, written in 1999. The fourth book is The Goblet of Fire, written in 2000. The fifth book is The Order of the Phoenix, written in 2003. The sixth book is The Half-Blood Prince, written in 2005. The seventh book is Deathly Hallows, written in 2007. I read all these seven books during my summer break in May and June. If I am asked to give a review about the Harry Potter series in a sentence, I would definitely say it a brilliant story composition. The choice of words in the story entertained me so much that I could not keep the book down. These seven books gave me a cliffhanger feel that I kept reading, reading and reading. Starting with the Philosopher's Stone or should I call it the Sorcerer's Stone, Harry Potter is so beautifully introduced in this book. All the characters, things, places, situations, etc. really shows Rowling's blue sky thinking. I personally think all Rowling's imagination has flown down like a, uh, like a, uh, like a quidditch and has got stuck to those seven books as words, expressions and feelings. My favorite character in this series is Professor Snape. And I loved the way J.K. Rowling evolved this character as a hateful person in the beginning to a hero in the end. Out of these seven books, my personal favorite is The Chamber of Secrets. It's a, it is really a journey through a world of magic. I'm very happy that I was born after 2007 so that I was able to read all the seven books at the stretch. Harry Potter is the best fantasy uh, series I have ever read. My steps through this, uh, this series of books has educated me with a set of new words and broadened my imagination. I would definitely recommend it to all my friends because these seven books will enhance your uh, love for reading. Uh, once again, thank you so much my favorite author J.K. Rowling for being born. Thank you. It's Harshita. Today I am going to give a quick and short review about Harry Potter series. Harry Potter series was written by British novelist J.K. Rowling in seven books and eight movies. The first movie was Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, which was an uh, iconic movie and gave a remarkable impact on people. About Harry Potter. Harry Potter was a young lad who finds out on his 11th birthday that he is the orphan child of two great magicians and has distinct magical powers of his own. Harry has a different, dif different life at his new school, Hogwarts, school of witchcraft and wizardry, and his friendship with two good friends named Hermione Granger and Ron Weasley. Now my review about this book. 
it was very fascinating it was very adventurous and it has some thrillers cause harry found some secrets about the school and his parents and many more thank you hey everyone this is shrishti singh from class 8a and today let's talk about harry potter series i'm sure we all have heard the name of harry potter in one way or other from movies or books so i thought why not try out one myself so i rem- remember i was 8 or 9 and i borrowed one of uh, the first part of the book harry potter the philosopher's stone from one of my friends uh, and thank heavens i did i mean the book takes you on a magical ride that you don't want to come back from so i'm sure i don't have to tell you all uh, about the hogwarts school of witchcraft and wizardry and so the book continues to the uh, magical adventures of hermione harry and ron and the one thing that just amuses me every time i watch the movie or read the book is that how wonderfully jk rowling has created the magical world i mean it just comes out in real and just surrounds your mind every time and all that we all wish for the true harry potter fans that what if it all was in real what if hogwarts was a real school in scotland what if harry hermione and ron were real what if all the professors were real and what if one day we just woke up and found a letter that we are invited to study at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry apart from Harry Potter series there are many other fictional adventurous adventurous series too like the lord of the rings um twilight or divergent but you know harry potter is like the starter kit to your fictional world so yeah harry potter was the first fictional book i ever read and thank god i did i already said that because you know if you want to get into books just read harry potter it just does all the work for you and you will be addicted to it first off if hogwarts was in real and one day i got a letter from hogwarts saying that you are invited to the school of hogwarts witchcraft and wizardry so what would i do i mean everyone wants to be in, wants to be put into gryffindor house no one wants letter <laughs> yeah so the sorting hat would probably put me into gryffindor and i would make yeah i would probably make friends with hermione or ginny weasley but i don't think i would be that adventurous as harry and his friends i mean of course if voldemort is there and he's coming up to our school uh but i don't think i am that adventurous or risk taker though i would i would li- i would want to walk around school i would focus more on studies like her my needed and my favorite subject would probably be uh transfiguration classes because whenever mcgonagall takes it uh professor mcgonagall to be more precise Uh, and i would like to go in transfiguration classes because maggie smith is my favorite maggie smith is the uh, actor who plays the role of professor mcgonagall and yeah i i would look forward to be a discipline and a nice student and if i would have one wish i mean like i would uh, want to be prefect <laughs> i don't know it would ever come true but i have been in a student council before and so it would be quite amazing to be in it to be in the student council of hogwarts so i would look forward to becoming prefect yeah that's all i had to say about this wondrous book and lastly that i would like to say that instead of scrolling through instagram 
Facebook, WhatsApp, whatever you social media platforms you are using. You can spend your time on reading books, not if Harry Potter possible. Any books, you know, books are just something that give you knowledge, and books are the only gift you can open again and again. So yeah, read any kind of books. Books are just magical. <laughs> This is Trishy Singh signing off. Thank you.